Today on The Reefer, we're going to be looking at feeding your coral. Hi guys, welcome to The Reefer YouTube channel, where we talk about all things reef aquarium related. If you're into this sort of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell because I've got more great content planned. On to today's topic, let's talk about whether you should feed your coral, and if you're going to feed, what type of food should you use? So why feed your coral in the first place? A majority of coral are able to create energy through photosynthesis as well as from food particles in the water. These food particles do two things. They provide the coral with energy to live and also provide elements for coral growth. So what kind of coral can you feed? I would say, if not all, then almost all coral can be fed. Different types of coral have different methods of eating. SPS such as Acropora and Nemontipora eat using their polyps. In fact, Millipora are naturally designed to catch food in high currents. LPS, mushrooms, zoas, and pallies have mouths. I find some LPS and zoas exhibit better feeding responses than others. Leather coral also have polyps, but I've never seen them actively feed. Should you feed your coral? It is important to be aware that there is no one size fits all when it comes to reefing. Every tank is different in terms of stock level, feeding amounts, and types of food fed. I'm going to describe two extremes that should provide range that you can use to figure out whether your coral may benefit from feeding and how often to feed. In the first scenario is the tank that is well stocked, potentially even overstocked. The fish get fed multiple times a day with a variety of good quality foods. In this scenario, the fish poop is likely already feeding your coral and some of the food that you are feeding may be getting to the coral as well. In this case, Feeding is probably going to provide less of a benefit and even poten potentially create an algae outbreak from excess phosphates and nitrates in the tank. Examples of tanks like this are the worldwide coral tanks that the Bulk Reef Supply Channel just released a series on. The only difference is worldwide corals creates their own food which um, includes reefroids. So they are technically broadcast feeding every hour. Jason Fox also does not feed his coral directly. According to an interview with Jake Adams at Reef Builders, he feeds his tank rods frozen foods about three times a week. So in the second scenario, we have a tank that is understocked. In addition to being understocked, the owner feeds sparingly as to avoid algae issues. Depending on the coral in this tank, target feeding will likely benefit the coral in a tank like this. So where does your tank fall in this range? Let me know in the comments below. So can you overfeed your coral? So just because feeding can speed up growth doesn't mean that you should feed your coral daily. If your tank is well stocked and well fed, this coral food could cause algae issues in your tank. Furthermore, I believe the coral require time to process the food and then to expel the waste. In my experience, this cycle takes about 48 hours if not longer. I find usually around the 48 hour mark, I'll start seeing the coral expel either excess food or digested food. The recommended number of times to feed is twice per week. I try to feed reefroids every three to five days. I also manually dose Acropower in my tank about three times a week. How can you feed your coral? There are two ways of feeding that are commonly described in our hobby. Target feeding, where you are aiming food directly into a coral's mouth or at a coral, and broadcast feeding, 
where you're pouring the food into the tank and the food will hopefully get to the coral. I consider amino acids such as AcroPower a form of broadcast feeding. My foods of choice are AcroPower and Refroids. With AcroPower, I just dose it in a high flow area every two to three days. With Refroids, I use a method that I saw on Billy Pipe's YouTube channel. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. I don't really measure how much Refroids I use, but what I'm aiming to create is a thick liquid. So I use a lot of Refroids and a little bit of tank water. This is a great mixture for LPS and Zoas. I don't go out of my way to target feed the SPS, as I believe once the pumps turn back on, the little particles will travel over to the polyps and the SPS should be able to catch them. When ready to feed, I set my return pump and power heads to feed mode. Each feed mode in these GBAO units is 10 minutes. I give the coral a total of two feed modes to finish eating, and it typically takes me about five minutes to finish feeding all the coral. So what equipment do I use? I use a syringe I got for free from a pharmacy to dose AcroPower. For refroids, I use a spare spoon to scoop the refroids and I mix the refroids in a little plastic cup. I use a Kent Marine Nautilus Sea Squirt feeding prong for the target feeding. This is a baser-like apparatus that can extend to a maximum length of 35 inches, which means I never have to worry about getting my hands wet while feeding. This is important as I believe the best thing that a reefer can do is keep their hands and arms out of the tank. It is not perfect as food does leak out, but it gets the job done. Another feeding apparatus you can consider is Julian's thing. Although I've never tried it personally, I have seen positive reviews. Believe me, a good tool that keeps your hands out of the water is worth it. I used to feed with the syringe, which meant one of my arms was in the tank every three to five days. Uh, this also meant that if I did get a cut on my right hand, that I wouldn't feed for as long as it took to heal. That's it for feeding, guys. Let me know in the comments below how often you feed your tank or if you use a different type of food. I'll see you guys next week at the same time. You've reached the end of the video. You've either fallen asleep, left your device, or actually enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell.